Hello everybody, I am Shimmer and welcome to the den. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Iron Factory EX-41S Shadow Wave Third Party Transformer. Now, it's not in the box, I've been playing with it. This thing is absolutely a little joy to have, not gonna lie. This thing out of the box, can't really complain. Pretty well packaged. It actually arrived pretty sooner than it expected it to be. Straight out of the box. Oh, fuck. It did come with a nice set of instructions. Pretty easy to follow. Can't really complain about that. Well, the one thing I can't complain about is when I fucking drop the camera. <laughs> so straight out of the box, this thing, this little guy is really well presented. I love the paintwork on this. Absolutely amazing. Zero paint chip. Very durable. It does state that it is at a legendary scale, which, for well, what you're getting, you can't really complain. I mean, this guy is pretty solid. I mean, I'm not been having any issues with this guy so far and transformations i will get to that in a short while there is one transformation i'm not particularly fond of but we'll get into that in just a second the materials that this little dude is consisted of is plastic abs and pvc so there are no small pieces of die cast metal which is a shame However, on the back of this thing, there is a little, little bit of cable, but that's mainly for the transformation. So I think it can be forgiven for that. I have zero idea what the fuck I'm doing here. There is, however, just a little bit of wee cable on this, but that's mainly for the transformation. There are some parts. There are a little loose. And not to mention the little pegs. To be completely truthful, I felt like I was near the breaking point of actually breaking these things. But with a little bit of care. Now it has been a long time since I've actually owned a Transformers figure. See that it not being the party and all. The last Transformer figure that I actually owned. But well, we must be talking Optimal Optimus. The beast of Wars. Uh, that was one figure I did enjoy having as a kid. Don't get me wrong. This kind of stuff. I'm really liking what they're doing. But some of the prices. Bruh. party? Uh, that's gonna break my wallet. I actually have up on my person some miniature figures. We have G1 Optimus Prime and G1 Megatron. Now, I haven't opened these because I am afraid to lose them. If you are wondering about size comparison, just a little bit bigger than what G1 Optimus Prime is. Now, I haven't taken these out of the packaging because I think they look pretty nice in the packaging. I don't think that they transform. They are just minifigures, but these are what I have at the moment. Now, this Shadow Wave figure does actually come with a few accessories. You have a little baggie full of loads of different hands. You could probably stash your coat. You do, however, get the shoulder cannon and the blaster. Now, these kind of like art forming, but that's for a transformation. Blaster, however, if you can see that, comes with the tiniest little handle. Not too bad, not too shabby. And it comes with this really nice transparent red 
Megatron Cannon? Blaster? Pistol? Which it actually makes this guy quite charming. Not gonna lie. You can do quite a lot of different poses with this thing, and the accessories are absolutely amazing. And by the way, no, you cannot fit mini cassette tapes in there. Sadly. But, transformation, however. Tabs for the legs I did find a bit difficult, even though I got them in, they do like to spread apart from time to time. don't stay locked in place you do find yourself battling quite a bit with the pegs but when they're in they stay in fit these in place was a bit of a difficult task but they were a little bit loose and we got there in the end you might want to use a little bit of super glue just to thicken that tab up and here we have vehicle mode i think this is quite charming it's nice design very cybertronian but the next transformation is going to be a pain Try and get these back out again. Not gonna lie. You're gonna have to be extremely careful, otherwise you may break it. got to the point where I felt I was about to just snap it off but with a little bit of care you'll get there. There is 
a double bend at the knee so you will have to grab it at both ends and make sure you don't snap anything <laughs> This is the most tedious and most difficult part. When you fold up the legs and you go to fold that flap out, as I previously stated earlier, this is highly frustrating trying to get them little tabs where the wheels are to fit in. You'll see what I mean shortly. cassette mode even though it was a bit of a pain to fumble around with it looks quite snazzy now for storage don't get me wrong you can put the cannon and the blaster on the back of this lovely little cassette piece unfortunately there is no other storage for the additional little things that come with this but I think through all that trouble, pretty fucking worth it, right? Size comparison time. We have the White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. 995. I will probably do my next review on this guy. We have Darth Maul. Followed up by DC Comics designer series J. Lee Catwoman, or best of Lee, formerly known as Selena. And if you are curious about what I'm going to be reviewing next, well, it's an oldie. Though to be completely truthful with you, I like this guy. Like, he did, as I said before, an amazing job painting. There were a few little issues. One of the issues, however, on my fault. I mean, compared to this guy and scale, now I've got mushrooms. Bruh. Fucking thing! So I was saying, I got mushroom th fingers compared to this guy. So I found it very difficult and very hard to not to break anything. At one point, I left it out of the video. I uh, didn't catch it or anything. I did end up ripping off his leg because I twisted it a bit too far. That's my fault. Now, if you have very delicate hands, you probably work this piece no problem at all. But yeah, the vehicle mode is very charming. I quite like the vehicle mode. It's very easy to transform. The instructions were very clear what it is you need to do. They didn't really skip any steps. So yeah, I mean, pretty good. I got this guy from the Show Z store, so it's on sale at the moment. Put this guy up. I waited roughly, probably, I'm gonna say about two to three weeks, which isn't too bad, really, considering what time of year it is. Oh, yes. But like I say, this guy has a bit of charm. And you'd be crazy not to get him. If you're into like third party Transformers, the shadow wave fits the bill honestly fits the bill now if i was going to give this guy a score out of five i'd probably give him a 3.5 100 percent definitely worth the money unlike some of them yes i'd pick him up can't go wrong and I'm not 100% sure how long the stay at 
<laughs> How long the sale is going to stay up. So, catch this guy. Get him while he's good. Especially if you're up for this. And how could I forget? You get a sticker with this, and you also get a Jazz Autobot card as well. Information on the back. So I have quite a few different things I would like to review for the next video. A little bit of Christmas. Yes! Merry Christmas, you filthy animal.